Awareness Month. Today our topic for discussion is lipidema, a misunderstood fat disorder. And for our discussion, we have with us Dr. V. K. Srinavis, consultant plastic and cosmetic surgeon at Apollo Hospital, Jubilee Hills, Hyderabad. Dr. Srinagas has completed his basic education in Odisha and his post-graduation from Chennai Medical College. He has vast experience in plastic surgery and has special training in breast reconstruction from USA and special training in liposculpture, lipodystrophy and lipedema from Berlin, Germany. He is involved in educating and creating awareness about a condition called lipedema in India. Welcome doctor to our Facebook live session. Thank you. So starting with our questions, so doctor, could you please tell our audience what is lipedema? Actually, lipedema is a medical condition where, uh, which is seen specifically in women from the time of puberty and where the fat gets deposited in the lower half of the body or in the arms unusually and which is not responsive to regular diet or exercise. This particular disease was identified in the 1940 uh, by Dr. Allen and Dr. Hines but was not recognized as a disease by WHO and not included into the international classification of diseases until 2019. This abnormal deposition of fat starts around puberty and progresses in life. Now the trigger points are you know whenever there is a hormonal imbalance or a hormonal changes in a woman this particular uh, fat starts to in proliferate in the body especially in the hips, thighs, legs or the arms and can progress to other parts of the body as well. So, doctor, is it a new disease? No, it is not a new disease, but because it was not identified as a disease entity, separate disease entity by WHO until 2019, this was not uh, featuring and was not been taught in the medical colleges uh, till date. So, that is the reason why this particular condition where, you know, a typical uh, woman with a pear shaped body, a narrow waist and a huge hips and thighs has been considered as a peer shaped obesity and was subclassified as ob a part of obesity and was being treated wrongly as obesity. Some women they also have you know uh, because the legs are also uh, uh, large in size it has been misdiagnosed as lymphedema and has been treated as lymphedema and those patients who have you know um, uh, little heavier thighs and uh, irregularities and nodularities those people have been diagnosed, labeled as cellulite and they have been treated as cellulite. So, doctor, could you please explain our audience, how is it different from obesity? In a typical case of lipidema, you find that the waist is quite narrow and the hips, thighs and legs are quite large and as it keeps increasing in size, the gait also changes and the, the center of gravity, the alignment is distorted and so they tend to develop what is called a genu valgum or a knock knee kind of a situation. Some women they also have a enlarged excess deposition of fat in the arms from the armpits to the elbow and some in some patients they, it goes extends up to the uh, wrist but beyond the wrist the uh, hands are quite normal and beyond the ankles the feet are normal. So, this is a classic differentiating uh, feature of lipidema versus obesity and also in obesity you will find that the central part of the body is also quite large. So, of course, lipidema could be combined with obesity as a complication and can give uh, uh, can cause a, a little bit of a confusion. So, doctor what is lipidema? Lymphedema is a condition where there is a obstruction of the lymphatic channels leading uh, to uh, a collection of uh, lymphatics, lymph fluid in the subcutaneous tissue. Usually in a typical case of lymphedema, the lymphedema starts at the feet and progresses to the legs and it is usually seen on one uh, limb and not in both the limbs. It could be seen in both limbs when there is a congenital condition or in rare acquired situations. 
Unfortunately, most of the people who keep putting on weight, they find that, you know, the they would be advised by most of the doctors or dietitians or gym trainers to go for diet and, and exercise. In a typical case of uh, obesity or overweight, patients can lose weight with a proper uh, diet. But with lipidema, it has been noticed that the regular dietary uh, changes do not help in r losing weight. The patient might lose weight in the uh, trunk, that is the chest, the abdomen and the waistline. But beyond that, there may be a marginal decrease. And it has been noticed that ketogenic diet does help in controlling some of the symptoms of lipidema. So, does exercise help lipidema? Exercise does, any exercise is good for the health. So, you know, exercise is not uh, a no-no for uh, lipidema, but it has been noticed that heavy exercises do not help and uh, worsen the symptoms of uh, lipidema. Generally, walking, uh, mild jogging, cycling and water exercises like swimming are seen to be beneficial for cases affected with lipidema. So, coming towards our next question. So, doctor, how do you identify lipidema? Yes, that's a good question. Lipidema is typically seen to be equally distributed in both sides of the body. It is, uh, there are different types of lipidema. So, you know, the classical symptoms of lipidema are, you know, progressive growth of uh, the fat in the hips, thighs legs or the arms and as it keeps this uh, deposition keeps increasing the fat and becomes nodular and the skin becomes uneven or wavy and there could be these patients also notice that you know they could bruise very easily with very small uh, uh, trauma and uh, they de tend to develop a lot of spider veins and some patients also develops varicose veins and in later stages as the, uh, and, but the feet are normal the hands are normal beyond, feet beyond the ankles are normal sometimes you find a, a, like a lady wearing a harem pants uh, with a tight elastic you know you find an ankle cuff or a wrist cuff so these are all the classic features and they, it could be associated the early stages there may be no pain but as the stage progresses patient might start experiencing pain and fatigue, easy fatigability, and so they find it difficult to do exercise over a period of time. So, doctor, what are the types of lipidema? There are five types of lipidema. Type one, where the hip is quite large, the hips, the fatty deposition occurs in the hips and the buttock area. And then uh, is type two, where the hips, the and the thighs up to the knee joints are affected. Type three, where the fatty deposition takes place from the waist that, that, that is the hips, buttocks, thighs and the legs whereas the feet are spared. Type 4 where the arms are involved, the upper limbs they are involved that is the arm from the uh, shoulder to the elbow and sometimes up to the wrist but the, beyond the wrist the hands are quite normal and slim. This is type 4 and type 5 where the fatty deposition is limited only between the knee and the ankle. So, the knee and ankle appear like cylinders or you know like columns. So, the basic shape is lost. So, these are the five types of lipidema. So, doctor basically what are the stages of lipidema? The, as the stages can be uh, are uh, classified depending on the clinical condition and this amount of fatty deposition in the uh, patient and also whether the lymphatics are associated are affected or not. So, in a typical stage 1, the, it could be you know a little, uh, the skin will be smooth, the fat underlying fat also will be smooth and there may be associated pain or there may be no pain. But the, these patients generally tend to find easy bruising and you know, some patients might also start noticing spider veins. In stage 2, the spider veins are more prominent, the bruising is more prominent, the fat 
starts the accumulation of fat is you know increases and the skin may start to become a little wavy in stage 3 there is some because there is an inherent weakness of the lymphatic system and the venous system in these individuals the uh, there could be deposition of you know lymph leakage into the surrounding tissues causing sometimes a pitting kind of an edema in which and that is this particular condition is also called lipolymphedema during this time it is always better to use compression garments or lymphatic pumps to try to control the uh, problem and in a stage 4 the fatty deposits are very large this there is a lot of skin folds and especially around the knee joints and the uh, thighs and below the um, knee joint around the upper part of the leg and these patients find it very difficult to walk there are lot of debility in the uh, individuals So, doctor, how do you manage lipidema? In the early stages, we do recommend that you know they uh, go for a ketogenic diet and some form of exercise like walking, cycling, or swimming exercises. And if this doesn't uh, seem to work out in you know the progression of the disease, then we also recommend them to go for lymphatic massages. dry brushing or sequential pump uh, lymphatic pump intermittently so that the edema is reduced and they feel much better the medical management we depends on the patient from patient to patient on the response to certain kind of whether there is associated lymphedema or there is no lymphedema but it has been noticed that the best form of treatment is you know identifying the disease early and going in for water assisted lymph sparing liposuction or a tumescent liposuction in the worst cases where you know there is the patient comes late sometimes excision of the excess amount of loose flabby skin is also may also be required so that the disease is brought under control so coming towards our audience <laughs> questions so doctor what foods to avoid if you have lymphedema what foods to avoid if you have lymphedema lymphedema usually uh, whether it is lymphedema or lipidema it has been noticed that you no know, high carbohydrate high glycemic index foods are not good for uh, the body so an anti inflammatory ketogenic diet rich in uh, saturated fats and good amount of proteins help in a long way to uh, control this particular problem so is lipidema a autoimmune disease whether it is an autoimmune disease is of a doubtful uh, is is a doubt but it has been noticed that it runs in families it is seen exclusively in women and it it also runs in families so there there is a th- thought that it could be genetically uh, predisposed and it is hereditary can lipidema cause neuropathy lipidema does can cause neuropathy because of you know unusual kind of pains like i said that lim- lim- some many patients with lipidema do also have pains of various and various kinds of pains sometimes you will find it you no know, it is like uh, a nagging kind of a pain a dragging kind of a pain or you know needle prick kind of a, a pain could be associated with lipidema so you know and this is due to uh, a few reasons thought to be a because of a few reasons one is due to the excessive deposition of fat the nerve and nerves are got stretched out second is because of the excessive deposition of fat and the leakage of lymphatics the new sufficient amount of nutrition is not able to reach the tissues and the nerves causing ischemia type of a uh, uh, situation which causes in starvation of uh, lack of oxygen and nutrition to the nerves which also reflect as pain so doctor could you please elaborate our audience what is lipidema stage 4 lipidema stage 4 like you know if you see the uh, uh, picture uh, that part this particular picture is if you look at this this is a typical stage 
type of a lipidema where you find that you know there is a, a lot of fatty deposits along with excessive skin folds and this particular uh, situation uh, you know just a liposuction may not be sufficient and you know you may have to uh, remove the excess amount of fat as well as remove excess amount of skin for you know the patient to be comfortable and mobile. Lipidema, it has been seen that lipidema is a progressive disease. It is not going to stop per se. You can only delay the progress of the disease or arrest the progress of the disease by an by uh, going in for a water assisted lymph sparing liposuction at an early stage. There, this particular procedure when done could help in uh, reducing the pain and the other symptoms like you know bruising and also help the patient become more mobile and can also delay or prevent a requirement for a knee replacement uh, because the alignment of the uh, knee joints also get corrected if it is done at an early stage. So doctor, how can I improve the lymphatic drainage in my legs? You can improve the lymphatic drainage in your legs by going for water exercises going in for dry brushing, lymphatic brushing, lymphatic massages and using a regular use of compression garments or intermittent use of compression garments and using the lymphatic pump. So, doctor, does lipidema go away with time? Lipidema is not going to go away with time, but we can try to control it by delaying the progression or arresting the progression of the disease. Normal fat does respond to diet, exercise or you know uh, medical treatment of obesity or by following bariatric surgery by losing uh, the excess amount of fat Where, whereas lipidema fat you know, does not respond as well as normal fat. No, lipidema fat appears to be different genetically and there is a lot of research going on right now as to what is the deficit that is causing this particular thing. A lot of stem cell research and genetic research, gene research is going on to find out the exact cause of this particular problem. So, doctor, what hormone causes lipidema? Usually, it is thought that the, the female hormones that is the estrogen and progesterone are could be responsible for this particular issue. So, that is the reason why it is seen primarily in women basically 10 to 15 percent of women globally are affected with lipidema whereas men are extremely rarely affected by lipidema. Lipidema is seen in men only when the their hormone levels the testosterone levels androgen levels are very low and the estrogen progesterone levels are quite high. So, coming towards our last question. Doctor, could you please tell our audience about the facilities provided at Apollo Hospital, Jubilee Hills, Hyderabad? We have an excellent uh, facilities here. Lipidema is a team approach where we need the services of the dietitian, the physiotherapist, vascular surgeon, as well as plastic surgeon. So, you know, and the, of course, the equipment that, uh, that are required for treating lipidema. So, you can have all these uh, facilities and guidance under one roof. So, you know it is an excellent place and as um, lipidema is a disease which is almost unknown uh, across the globe, it is very little known, it is more popular in Germany and US where doctors are treating these particular things. I have had the good fortune of you know having got trained in Germany and you know, we are providing the same world class facilities available in Germany at Apollo Hospital Jubilee Hills. So dear viewers, we have come to the end of our session and hope we have covered all aspects. If you still have more doubts, you can book an appointment with Dr. V. K. Srinavit and clarify your doubts. Thank you doctor for educating our audience in today's session. Thank you so much. Thank you for joining us. Stay tuned for more such educative live sessions. Namaste.